So, a new open source AI video generator is here, and it's called Pyramidal Flow Matching for Efficient Video Generative Modeling. Let's just call it Pyramid Flow. According to VBench, a comprehensive benchmark for video generative models, Pyramid Flow scored the highest in quality. What's even more surprising is that it's developed by the same company behind Killing. Pyramid Flow can generate videos from both text and images. For text to video, it produces clips at 1280 by 768 resolution, 10 seconds long at 24 frames per second. The image to video generation is just as impressive. Now let's dive into some examples and compare its results with models like Sora and Runway. Later, I'll share the details on how you can start using this tool yourself. Let's get started. The first video is about a bustling snowy Tokyo city, where the camera moves through the streets, capturing people enjoying the weather and shopping at stalls. I think Sora has a similar video. Let me know which one looks better to you. Next we have a car driving at dusk on the highway, with the rear view mirror reflecting a colorful sunset and serene scenery. There's some noticeable morphing with the cars, and the street lights look off. Overall, it doesn't feel high quality. The third video features an extreme close-up of chicken and green pepper kebabs grilling on a barbecue with flames and vivid colors. This one looks solid, no major issues here. In the fourth video we see a side profile of a woman with fireworks exploding in the background. The face looks odd and there's no movement in the woman which makes it feel less realistic. Here's a similar generation from Runway Gen 3, let me know which looks better. The fifth video is a movie trailer, showcasing the adventures of a 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool-knitted motorcycle helmet, set against a blue sky and salt desert. It looks okay, but it's less detailed compared to Sora's similar video, which has a higher quality. Moving on to the sixth video, we have a drone camera circling around a beautiful historic church along the Amalfi coast, showcasing its architectural details and tiered pathways. This one looks good. Here's a similar video from Sora. Let me know which one you prefer. The seventh video features a cat waking up its sleeping owner, demanding breakfast. This one looks good, but the eyes don't seem rendered well. There's less detail there. Finally, in the eighth video, we see two hikers making their way up a mountain, enjoying the fresh air and beautiful views. However, there's some morphing going on with their hands and legs. Now, let's check out some examples of text-conditioned image-to-video generation from Pyramid Flow. In the first example, we have a monster illustration in a flat design style, showcasing a diverse family of monsters, including a furry brown one. The second example features a car driving on the road. Next up, we see people strolling through the trees of a small suburban park on an island in the river on an ordinary Sunday. Finally, we have an FPV view flying over the Great Wall. Out of all these examples, I think this one looks the best. The others didn't impress me as much, I was expecting better results overall. Now, let's talk about where you can use Pyramid Flow. If you head over to their GitHub page, which I've provided in the description, you'll find detailed installation instructions for the Hugging Face model. However, there's a catch regarding hardware requirements. Even the lower resolution version requires around 26GB of memory, and the 768p version requires approximately 40GB of memory, which is a significant limitation. The good news is that the developers are actively working on optimizing for lower memory usage, so hopefully that'll make it more accessible soon. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated on the latest AI tools and insights, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.